Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the easy way to put Tasmoda on the T4 EU1C model of the Sonoff Switch. Let's go! Using the link below, navigate to the Tasmoda firmware page and scroll down till you see the assets. I will download the Tasmoda bin, uh, but you are welcome to download any other languages uh, listed here. Wait a few seconds for the download. Then similarly, using the link I have attached below, uh, download this version of the flashing software, Node MCU Apply Flasher. Now you can download uh, the PC version, or since I'm using a Mac, I'll download the Mac version. For this part, you need the hardware called the FTD232 chip. Uh, you need the right drivers for it. You need some jumpers, cables, and you need some header pins. Uh, separately, prepare a jumper cable with uh, header pins on one side and female leave the, the female side uh, unattached. Look at this uh, next diagram carefully and connect the pins from the FT232 to the Sonoff port. So now this next bit is the tricky bit, uh, you need to pay attention to it. So what I do is uh, noting the ground connection, uh, you need to connect ground to uh, GPIO0, so I'll just flip it around. And uh, knowing that this is my ground cable, I insert uh, the other prep cable into the ground like this. Hold all the pin in place and push the USB cable into your computer. That's it. After that, you can leave your hand. Go ahead and start the Node MCU Pi Flasher and if you have installed the drivers correctly, you should be able to select the correct device from the port. Uh, choose the correct device. Then uh, the firmware, you have to choose the one that we downloaded in, in step 1, the Tasmoda bin. And follow the rest of the settings accordingly. I always choose to uh, erase flash because then I don't have to follow Tasmoda upgrade route. I can just uh, jump from 3 to the latest because I wipe out all the data from the bot. When you're ready, uh, so you click on flash node MCU. If you pull out the USB and reinsert, you should be able to see the switch broadcasting an AAP for you. Okay, once you have connected to the AAP, a configure page should pop up. And for any reason it doesn't, uh, just open the browser and go to 192.168.4.1, that's the default configure page for Tasmoda. Uh, in this page, you can scan for your own network here. Click on uh, your network. And uh, I always uh, check this box here because then I can see uh, what password I enter into. Because this is, this is really important so that I don't key the wrong password. And uh, for the host name, uh, key in uh, whichever name you want so that you can easily find it under your router list uh, of clients later. Uh, once you have done that, um, click save 
and and then proceed to install. Okay, the next bit is really simple. Uh, just click on configuration and configure template. Uh, choose Sonoff Touch for the template and then click save. After that, uh, navigate to configure MTOTT. Uh, click in your host. The port is usually 1883. Uh, put in your user name and your password of your MQTT client. Uh, topic you can uh, key in the unique name for the switch. You can call it the Tasmoda Office Lights or whatever you prefer. After you are done, click Save. And um, that's about all. You have uh, finished setting up your Tasmoda switch.